my case and you make the devil praise. Anything when you talk now so we dey happen. We that know. My name is Emmanuel Sarah. I'm from Kogi State. Anyway, I was a Muslim, so I gave my life to Christ in OPM. So in OPM, I got married. So in OPM here, God bless us with this with this baby. So, and since then, before that, they commissioned this hospital. I have been in OPM. So and I thank God, I came to OPM and I registered since from one month, and they have been taking care of me. Everything about this hospital is real. So I am a living witness and I'm a testimony today. Daddy is blessed already. So I just pray for more grace and long life and prosperity because it is not easy. Even in my former religion, I have never seen something like this. So I pray for God to give him more wisdom and more grace to do this work. I'm very happy. No, they did not charge me anything. So, they did not charge me. I did not pay one naira. I did not pay shishi. Even to buy a car, I did not pay anything. Both the drugs, even yesterday that I give birth, the food they give me is free. Everything is free. Yeah, the placenta was given to us yesterday. So I see it. It was given to us yesterday. No, even um, both Muslim. They are here. They come and they wear put on their hijab. Many people will not believe until they come and they witness it. Because I also tell people, even some people, I told them that everything here is free. But they won't believe me until they come here. I delivered my baby no man. There was no God, no CS. And glory be to God. Uh, my name is uh, Emmanuel Nabife. I'm from uh, Isike in the local government. I'm here in a OPM Free Specialist Hospital. I came here to stand by my wife at the day of delivery as she had delivered safely without any complication. And everything went successfully. Even the machines, the equipment they are using here. When you hear about Free Specialist Hospital, you might be expecting local materials and equipment or only unqualified people. But the people I see here, they do like white people. The machines they use are very excellent and beautiful. If most of the things are, I don't even know that these things are for babies. It's like a, a factory. My mouth cannot say them all. From the day one, the only thing it remains is to give them transport when they are going back. From day one, drugs. They, they give them more than enough drugs. The, the drugs they give them, I go and make inquiry in the uh, chemist. The drugs were very quite expensive. When I heard about this thing, goose people come out from my body. Actually, the place, they, they did not pay for, from day one, they did not pay for anything, even the scam. And the treat are very well. They are kind. Everywhere is very conducive. If you look at the rooms here, they are AC, fan, everywhere is very okay. Safety, toilet and bathroom. Personally, every person has his own room. Very comfortable. It doesn't look free. It's very excellent. First of all, to God, I thank God for using this man. Because it's not every pastor has the mind to do this thing that he's doing. Because he is not blinded by the words that come in. He cares more about the people, more than the church. Because he, he believes that the church is the people inside, not the building. The way he, as in, uh, he's already blessed. But I pray that God give him more life so that people yet unborn will witness and benefit from this thing that God is using to them to do. And to crown it on, I came here to OPM as nothing. When I came to OPM, I came as nothing. Even I came as a drug addict. I came as an ex-militant. And from that time, from the rehabilitation center, the man rehabilitated me, gave me everything, even gave me a job. In OPM, notwithstanding where I'm coming from, he welcomed me, gave me, I was in the free estate, feeding us morning, afternoon, night. From there, the preaching changed my mentality as all, all, all around. I understood that it is better to serve God due to the way he tells you the word of God and the confidence he gives, him, gives you when he's preaching. And from there, 
I started my prayers. And now today, if you look at my picture of before and now, you see there's a lot big difference. All these things we are for free. I even, sometimes, if I stay on my own, I never knew that I would be like this today. I never knew a man like this, a man of God, a man like this would open his arm for people like me to come in. So he gave a lot of people second chance. And I'm a witness to that. And today again, I, 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 I am a beneficiary to the free specialist hospital. When we talk about it's very special. The advice I give to people is that don't listen to what your pastor tells you or what your friends tell you. Whenever you want to take a decision, you go on your knees and pray to God. Say, God, is this man or is this thing that they do, is it to your own glory or to the glory of Satan? Any result you see, any revelation you see, you walk according because God cannot lie to you. The advice I give to them is to tell, ask God whether what this man is doing, is it from God or be from Satan? So many people don't believe it because it is too good to be real. Just come and witness. Don't say come and stay. Just come and witness.